They've been skating since before they could read. As partners, they have spent the last 10 years perfecting every movement in anticipation of this moment as they skate for the Olympic gold. Exciting, you know. Um, you, it's it's different when you are one of the athletes because you know a few people who go and all that. But um, you know, Emily and I live together, and so it's extra exciting. Does she seem really excited at home? I I don't know if it's quite hit yet. I almost feel like I'm more excited than she is. Thirteen days before Emily and Evan packed their bags for Vancouver. The soon-to-be Olympic athletes sat down with the Washtenaw Voice to unveil any last-minute excitements, intentions, or jitters on the upcoming event. Extremely excited. I mean, the, I don't know, it's, it's still such a surreal concept that we'll be leaving for the Olympic Games in 13 days now, so, I don't know, definitely a lot of excitement. People are really excited about it because it's very rare that um, local people, like I'm from Ann Arbor, you know, I've never moved in my life until I had to move into the dorms freshman year of college, so and it's been very lucky for me that everything has just happened right in front of my, you know, in my backyard really. Um, so there's a lot of people who've known us forever and now we're going to the Olympics and they're so excited that it's like, ah, you know, everyone wants to, to contact us and ask for tickets. There's four disciplines for figure skating. There's men's, ladies, pairs, and ice dancing, and we're ice dancers. So it's slightly different than pairs in that we don't do the jumps and we don't do the really high overhead lifts, but um, it's more artistic, more dancing on ice, sort of as the name implies. It takes some warming up, I think. Obviously, if you don't feel nervous, then you're not human. So, like the first 15 minutes of the pro, or 15 seconds of the program, uh, you might feel like throwing up. But then it it goes by very quickly, and uh, you kind of lose yourself if it goes all well. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the best feeling because it's over before you know it, and you can't really freak yourself out too much. Um, I really want to see the snowboard half pipe. That's kind of one of the newer events, and. Um, I don't know, I, I was watching the X Games and those guys are just like absolutely out of their minds. And uh, I, just seeing it on TV, I'm like, you know, really impressed. And to, to be there in person, I think I'd probably uh, lose my mind. Is that something you could ever get into? Snowboarding? Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to snowboard because when I was 12, I broke my arm skiing. And since then, they, my coach has kind of said like no to all other, sports. other sports in general. <laughs> so. Uh, Maybe when I retire, I'll definitely be hitting the slopes, but for right now, we're we're not really loud. So how about you, Emily? What are you excited to see? Um, I want to see a lot. I want to see the speed skating, like at least one speed skating event while we're there, and I'd like to see um, a couple skiing events. I mean, it's a little different because it's over at Whistler Mountain, so it's about a two, two and a half hour drive out there, but it'll definitely be worth it to see some of the events on the mountain. Um, well, luckily, our our free times on Saturday is our day off, so uh, we have Michigan football season tickets, and those are Saturday mornings usually, so um, sometimes that'll take up the whole day, but when we're not in football season, I think I use Saturdays just to chill and relax and recuperate because the week is long with six days of constant activity here, and uh, it can really take its toll, so when you have one day off, it's like the sacred day, like Saturday is our Sunday basically, so we just <laughs> take it for all it is and just appreciate it because it doesn't happen very often for us. We play a lot of video games. Like what? Um, we're heavy on the sports games, particularly NHL 10 is the biggest one that stays in the Xbox, um, but we'll play FIFA, we'll play Madden, NCAA football, pretty much all of the EA sports games, yeah. Basically just the, the entertaining shows, the ones that you can just sit and enjoy and don't really have to focus too much on. Those are my favorite. So you guys aren't that much different. That's like the I don't watch Vampire Diaries. <laughs> <laughs>
So did you get into like the big vampire phase of Twilight? Yeah, I actually started that late though. Um, my best friend who lives in Georgia, she was like, you need to read Twilight, you need to read Twilight. I was like, no, it's not going to be good. Um, and then like a year later, I finally picked it up because everyone started talking about it and I got hooked. I mean, it's... Team Edward or Team Jacob? Uh, with the books, I'm Team Edward. With the movies, I'm Team Jacob. <laughs> But, um, What's the difference? Because in the books, Edward is portrayed as like set, the ideal guy, and so you definitely fall for him. But then, in the movies, you're also you also get to see their bodies and how these actors all look. It's really shallow. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the, that'd be the difference. <laughs> we spend more time with each other than we do our families. So really, once we go home. We tend to leave our, or lead our separate lives, which um, is a good thing. Yeah, it is good. I mean, on the ice, I mean, we're both perfectionists, so we have that same goal in mind, and we work well together. I mean, our different personalities complement each other. So, is that what you think, Phil? Yeah, I think definitely. We kind of mesh together on the ice, and whatever kind of differences we have in in our personalities, I think works to our benefit. Because if I was skating with myself. I would kill myself probably <laughs> uh, at some point over the last 10 years. <laughs> no, but I think that we complement each other really well and that's kind of the secret to the success. Yeah.